My name is Denise Mananis. I'm the AVP for External Affairs for St. John's Riverside Hospital, and I'd like to welcome you today to St. John's Riverside Talk presentation, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy, a Powerful Treatment for Wound Healing. Uh, before we begin, I would like to thank my team, Jason Latore, our media production manager who's producing today's uh, event, Nancy Nabi, our community liaison, who does a great job getting all of our community partners together, and Candace Cousins Hopkins, who is an Associate Director of External Affairs and um, sort of leads the charge on all of the things that we're doing uh, with our community. Uh, so today um, we have Dr. Narav Patel, who is going to be addressing us. But before we do that, I would like to acknowledge our original partners in this program, um, Yonkers Neighborhood Naturally Occurring Retirement Community and the Yonkers Public Library. And I'd also like to welcome our new partners, the Ashling Irish Community and Cultural Center, the Department of Veterans Services, City of Yonkers, Ardsley Parks and Recreation, Ardsley Senior Center, the Bronxville Community Center, the City of Yonkers, Community Baptist Church, the Hastings Community Center, the Irvington Community Center, Westchester Jewish Community Services, and Yonkers Pathways to Success. So now that I've acknowledged all of our audience and all of our partners, I would like to start our program by introducing Dr. Narav Patel, who is a vascular surgeon and director of surgery at St. John's Riverside Hospital. He is also the medical director of our Wound Healing Center. Dr. Patel, along with his highly skilled team, are prepared to take on the toughest vascular and wound healing cases. Dr. Patel has helped build one of the foremost vascular and wound healing centers in the area that include all of the cutting edge technology that any big city hospital has, including both open and minimally invasive technologies and procedures. He graduated from New York College of Osteopathic Medicine and completed his residency program at Wyckoff Heights Medical Center, followed by a fellowship at Mamadides Medical Center. So thank you for joining us today and welcome to our program. It's wonderful to have you. Um, so let's get right started into our conversation. Uh, let's start with, tell us about the medical issues that really call for this treatment and what is this treatment called hyperbaric oxygen therapy? Thanks for having me, Denise. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, so hyperbaric oxygen therapy um, started about, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. And the medical issues that were that it helped to deal when it first came out with its advent was it was for divers who were having uh, diving injuries when they were coming up too fast um, from when they were divers. And then it's kind of moved on to smoke inhalation injuries with carbon monoxide injuries for firemen. And, you know, over the last decade, it has evolved into where we've had significant medical research um, for all other uh, different pathologies for the disease. And, you know, let's say it's primarily uh, very beneficial for our diabetic patients, our diabetic patients that have ulcers on, on the bottom of their feet, our diabetic patients that develop bone infections and have osteomyelitis, um, our patients uh, that have you know, cancer and have radiation injuries like radiation necrosis to the bone or radiation cystitis of the bladder. Um, in our wound care center, we see venous ulcers and arterial ulcers. And being a diabetic, um, your healing powers are are really set, really set you back in a major way. And what we try to do in our wound healing center is that we try to not only heal you with ointments and creams and, and dressings, but we try to give you adjunct therapy such as hyperbaric oxygen therapy, where you can come in and the premise behind it is, is that as you breathe in more oxygen and your red blood cells carry the more oxygen to the wounds, you heal much faster. And there's great papers that are proven in and there's great medical studies behind it. So can you walk us through sort of, all right, I have a, a venous ulcer or I've had a radiation uh, injury. What happens? You, where do you go? What, what are, what are sure. I know there are chambers. What do those look like? What happens? Sure. So let's say you're a diabetic and you have this ulcer on the bottom of your foot and you've had it there for about a year or two. Um, 
you come and see us at the wound care center. We evaluate you. We look at your circulation. We make sure that everything is OK and your healing powers are OK. You get you already having you. Know, we prescribe you the right ointments and and what else we prescribe you is hyperbaric oxygen therapy and. The way hyperbaric oxygen therapy works is that right now, currently, when you breathe in normal air, your blood cells can only carry so much oxygen. So when we put you in these chambers, per se, in our in, in our in our hyperbaric center, you actually breathe in more oxygen and your red blood cells carry more oxygen. And the premise behind it is that as as the blood cells carry more oxygen, they get to your wound and help you heal faster. So when you come in to see us, we measure your wound. We then help. We then take you down and we have you meet our whole hyperbaric team. You see our state of the art facility. We have four hyperbaric chambers. Um, they're they're monoplace chambers, which means that it's one person at a time. So you're not inside of a chamber with uh, other people with wounds. You're you're in your, you have your own chamber. Um, it is completely sterile. Um, you have a TV there so that when you're doing your treatment, you can listen to music, you can watch TV. Um, How long is the treatment? Treatment from start to finish, you come in and check in and come out, it's about 90 minutes. Um, and that will be 90 minutes of your time. Usually when we prescribe you the treatment, it's for 30 treatments, which means Monday to Friday, you come in for 90 minutes and you do that for 30 days. We evaluate you in between to make sure that the wound is healing and it's getting better with this adjunct therapy. And if it is, then we can always prescribe you another 30 treatments. And again, we are this your treatment process is always multifactorial. We want to treat you from every different ways, but we want to make sure that we give you everything we have to make this close. All right, so you talked about a couple of different issues, but mm -hmm. the different types of wounds um, you had mentioned venous arterial are those different? Well, I mean, obviously people with diabetes have um, a predisposition to this because they have vascular issues. Right. So what what are the differences in the wounds that you're seeing and, and are they only on the feet? I mean, where where do they occur? So you can basically do hyperbaric for any part of your body. Um, we have a lot of urologists that send us patients where patients have bladder cancer and they got radiation and now the bladder is really inflamed and that's called radiation cystitis and hyperbaric oxygen therapy really helps to calm that down. And we have certain other cancers. We have our we have dentists that send us patients that have radiation necrosis of their jaw and we've seen a lot of patients recently come through with that and the hyperbaric oxygen therapy really helps heal the bone. Um, we have a lot of patients that have ulcers that, let's say you have an ulcer on your toe and the bone is infected in your toe. In your toe. We, help you, we help diagnose that by getting MRIs and the MRI will show that the bone is infected inside and then we'll start you on antibiotics. And hyperbaric oxygen therapy, there's direct correlation that if you do hyperbaric and, and your bone is infected, it helps heal the bone faster. And, help, and keeps it healed. Um, your diabetic foot ulcers, usually they're on the plantar aspect of your foot, really tough place to heal because you it's all, it's a very weight bearing area. So that's another good place where we, we uh, hyperbaric is direct correlation shows that it really helps to close up your wounds. So it, I'm very fascinated by some of these. I know the people with the wounds and they do very well. But some of these other modalities uh, or these other issues or medical issues that people have, um, I, I've i heard recently people are doing a lot of radiation with seed implants. Is this something that is recommended for people who are, are treating tumors and things with the radioactive seeds? Yes, absolutely. You know, if they're getting radioactive seeds and getting radiation, you know, most most times, you know, they do pretty well and they don't have any side effects. But if you do have some side effects from the radiation and from the radiation seeds and you have like an inflammatory process going on, then yes, the hyperbaric oxygen therapy will certainly help to calm all that down. And, okay. you know, we're, we're, it's calming it down without you having to take medications and it's calming you down without having you to put something inside your body because this is like it's almost like very holistic, right? Because 
it, it's all, your body is carrying more oxygen, which is allowing it to heal faster. It's very interesting. Um, do you, you know, I, I, and I don't know if this is a, a, a real thing or not, but I, I thought everybody who has respiratory illnesses, you know, right now we're having a terrible allergy season and people are presenting with all kinds of respiratory issues. But even when you look at the last few years that we lived through COVID, I mean, when you have respiratory issues, is hyperbaric something that might help those or is that not something that's been tried? So it's in in the motion of there's a lot of studies being done on patients with COPD and patients with cancer. Um, there is no FDA approved indication yet for COPD and for lung issues or in people who have pneumonia or interstitial disease. However, there's constant, I've seen new papers come out where they are trialing it. And I think, you know, with the advent of, with, um, with trial and error, I think we're going to get to that point as well. Have you seen anything that's just been real? And because I actually know the answer to this, so I'm, I'm going to set you up a little bit. But have you seen any sort of strange uses for it? Like somebody came in for one thing and then it actually helps something else? Do you know I what mean, I'm? Yeah. What I'm? I mean, what story I'm talking about? Um. Tell so me. there's. So there's. There was a woman who came in for hyperbaric because she was a cancer patient and right. it helped her, but it also improved her eyesight to a point from being right. legally blind to actually. Can you give Correct. us that story? So there was a patient that came in for a complete different indication for hyperbaric and she's had vision difficulties for almost, I think it was for almost three or four years. And as we continued to do her hyperbaric, every time we would see her, she'd be like, you know, my vision is getting better. I can see so much more clearer. And we were, we didn't really mind it much at the beginning. But then after the first 25 treatments, she was like, you know, I, I can like really see clearly. And, you know, they've been wanting me to get cataract surgery and they've been wanting me to do this and that. And now, like, I feel great. Like I can actually see, I want to drive again. I want to do this and that. And then we were like, okay, wait, there has to be some real truth to this that, you know, we're we're really seeing hyperbaric do its magic and to this day she continues to claim that she can see better than ever you know ever since she got her hyperbaric treatment i i love that story that's why i brought it up because i just feel like you know when we're helping people in our community it just feels so good um the oxygen chambers are sort of interesting to me are there different types of chambers and and what are what is the best thing for our so there are two different two different types of chambers. One is called monoplace and one is called multiplace. And all that means is how many people can go inside the chamber at once. St. John's has four monoplace chambers, which means one person at a time in the chamber in the 90 minute period. And I like that a lot because it's your own time. It's your own chamber. You don't have to be next to somebody else who has a wound. Um, it's very privatized. There are other hospitals that have multi-place chambers. And a lot of our patients come to us and say, you know, I went to this, you know, with this, to this facility, there were multi-place chambers. I really didn't like the people inside. I really didn't like the odor that was in the in, inside. And I really prefer to be in a monoplace chamber. It's, it's the best place for me. And that's why we kind of, you know, we did great research to figure out what patient satisfaction would be. And we have four monoplace chambers. So tell me about recovery for, yeah, so, you know, let's start for the diabetic patients. Let's start from the wound healing center. Talk about what a treatment plan looks like, including the hyperbaric and what, what are we talking about in terms of time? How fast do people get back to their lives? You know, get, give us a little bit of a rundown. So the, the great part about hyperbaric oxygen therapy is that it never sets you back in what you want to do. It's it's never a lifestyle limiting. You come to us in the wound care center, you're getting your regular wound care treatments and your appointments. We're checking your circulation. We're looking at your wound, we're cleaning it up. And at the same time, you're getting your hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And when you get hyperbaric oxygen therapy for 90 minutes, you come out, you feel revitalized. Um, it's not going to set you back. You can go 
You can do whatever you want afterwards. There's nothing that's lifestyle limiting. You know, studies have shown that, you know, all our athletes are using hyperbaric oxygen therapy because it helps to cure the fatigue in between games. Oh, that's so, interesting. So, you know, be doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy, it's actually, if you're tired, it's going to help you. It's going to cure your fatigue. At the same time, it's helping your wound, but it will never set you back on what you want to do in your life and you'll never have to cancel your plans. We have a lot of patients that come in the morning and do their hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and then they go to work for the whole day. So, you know, they like it. They like that. It, it, they're still able to do everything they want to do, but know, but know that, you know, they're doing the right thing uh, for their elements. Are there any instances where you would not recommend hyperbaric therapy for someone dealing with any of these sorts of issues? So, I mean, the only way, you know, we try to utilize hyperbaric oxygen therapy as much as we can. Uh, we think it's a great therapy. It's a great adjunct therapy. And the only way that you wouldn't be able to get hyperbaric oxygen therapy is if you don't qualify. And one of the biggest qualifiers are that, you know, you have to be diabetic and your, your wound actually has to be a certain stage in order for you to get it. So those would be a reason why you would not qualify if the if the wound is, they say, a Wagner scale and there's a scale for it. Um, but most of our patients all qualify. Most of our patients have been treated a very long time but haven't been offered hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Um, Do you think but, that's similar to patients who have other medical diagnoses? Like the cancer and the, the radiation burns and those sorts yeah. of things? Yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of things sometimes get unrecognized, right? And, you know, once the patients go to their medical doctors and they go to their specialists, um, we all really realize that, hey, look, you know, as as the word gets out, how great hyperbaric oxygen therapy is, everybody who has some sort of inflammatory reaction from another medical problem can really benefit from this, and which That's is why we try to opt everybody in. That's very interesting. Um, any side effects from this therapy? I mean, so we what, don't know chemo side effects, radiation side effects, mm -hmm. you know, even side effects from general treatments, yeah. uh, things that you're doing maybe in the wound healing center. There, There's always something. Surgery sure. has side effects. What's right. with hyperbaric? There's always side effects to everything. One of the side effects that some of our patients get is that they get some pain in their ears from whenever we dive them. And it all depends on how their ear drains and how their ear canal is. We have a great ENT team that whenever we have patients that dive and come out and say, hey, listen, I'm having some ear pain. We send them across the street to our ENT team. They look at your ears and they figure out what we need to do to make sure that that pain subsides. And that's pretty normal, right? It's like, let's say if you're in the ocean and you dive, as you get deeper and deeper, you start to feel this pressure. And where does the pressure go? It goes to your ears and your ears pop. It's like going in an airplane as well when you go up, right? So that's exactly what's kind of happening when you're doing hyperbaric. As they dive you and you're breathing in more than one atmosphere of oxygen, which is what we normally breathe on a daily basis, we might dive into two and a half atmospheres. And sometimes that causes some pressure in your ears, but very easy fix and it, it won't stop you from diving. So I, I love the terminology that you're using. And so every treatment is called a dive. Correct. It's called a dive because you're actually we you're actually breathing in more than one atmosphere. So in order to get to two atmospheres of oxygen to breathe in, which is double the amount of oxygen we normally breathe when you're just walking around, um, it's called like a dive because they're they're like compressing you almost. So how did uh, let's go back to the beginning because you mentioned something where it started with the um, with the divers obviously mm -hmm. and if they come at my understanding is they came to the surface too fast they too would fast. get something called the bends right. right so how did they discover that this was the solution to help people who had that experience do you know they what happened was that at that time they were using hyperbaric oxygen therapy for smoke inhalation injuries, and they were using it for um, for firemen and, and for carbon monoxide poisoning. And one of the doctors realized that, hey, look, 
you know, when you're coming up, you're getting dizzy, you, you're having issues, uh, you know, breathing, um, you're getting these crazy headaches from the bends. So why not? Well, what happened? Well, you came up too fast and you didn't have enough oxygen going to the brain. So, well, why don't we put you in this chamber where you're going to get a lot of oxygen and we're going to we're going to double the concentration you should have gotten. And all of a sudden they did it and the bends went away because the brain got the oxygen it needed uh, in double time. And That's it took off after that. You know, it was it was a really a trial and error thing, but too many people got the got the syndrome and then all of a sudden someone said, well, put them in the chamber and here we are. So, uh, you know, I'm fascinated by hyperbaric because I really feel like there's so many things that it could be used for and that we talk about every day in the hospital. Um, and you were referencing studies uh, that are going on. Um, I know that there are insurance companies will not pay for a treatment based because there's no shown uh, fact, but how can you find out whether something is being studied, whether you, where can you go if you think you need it? Can you fight your insurance company? Is there information available out there? I mean, how do you how do you win that fight? Because I think that's something we all experience one way or another, depending on what's going on, not just for hyperbaric. I mean, I think that I think that if you feel like you've had a wound for a very long time and you've gone to a bunch of specialists and they've been taking care of you and, and the wound is not healing, then I think that you have to start looking for alternative treatments because not there's not one treatment that always cures you, right? It could be a bunch of treatments that cures you. And our medical doctors, our medical team, your met, you know, your primary care doctors, you know, we as a team, you know, you should be able to get all of these um, treatments. And, you know, as all our patients in Yonkers, you know, go to all our great medical doctors and all our great medical doctors here in the city of Yonkers know about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And it's always at the back of their mind. And for all the diabetics, all the radiation injuries, um, all the all the fire, all the firemen come to us because they get smoke inhalation injuries. Um, and I think that the word is out. You know, there's no doubt about it. The word is out. And, you know, the World Wide Web is a great place to look up, you know, look up hyperbaric and hyperbaric oxygen therapy and you'll see all the indications come up. And that's a great way to see if that's something that you th might think you have. And then come see us at the Wound Care Center where we'll evaluate you. We'll see if you fit the script and we can. The rest is up to us. We'll get we'll get all the approvals for you. You have that's not something you're going to have to do. You're not going to have to fight your insurance company. We have a team here that that takes care of all of that background work for you. Make sure that you, you don't have to pay anything out of pocket, but you just have to come in for your treatment. And that's what that's what it's all about. You should have to come in for your treatment and not worry about anything else. I, I actually am going to give a shameless plug to our wound care team because um, they've been at this for quite some time, at least at least 25 years. I think it's longer than that, but mm -hmm. at least 25 years. And I know that they are a really stellar team that, you know, from the beginning to the end. Can you talk just a little bit about wound healing upstairs and, you know, um, what what happens for patients when they come in? Because even the patients who have other issues or other injuries would have to yes. go through the wound healing center to be evaluated and then be referred into hyperbaric. So, can you give us a little walkthrough? So we've been very lucky to have a, a great wound care team. Um, I would have to say from like 2009 on, we've been building this team. And now we are probably the busiest wound care center in Westchester and the Bronx. We see about 600 patients a month up here. Wow. We have multiple specialties. We have vascular, we have uh, general surgery, we have podiatry, we have plastic surgery, and all these physicians work together. So if I see a patient that has a vascular problem and I fix their problem and I fix their ulcer, but now this patient needs some skin coverage, we send it to our plastic surgeon and they'll go ahead and put a skin graft on and now you're good as new again. And Great wound, care, great wound care centers work well when you have a lot of different doctors that each provide something unique because then we can all work together, refer to each other, 
to make sure that this patient gets all the treatment they need from all different places. And all the, the docs are up there. They all see all, patients all the in docs the same are up space. Here. Yep, they're all in the same space. And when you come, you will never feel, you'll, you'll feel like you're at home here because the nurse is here to take care of you like, like you're the family. And that's what we've created here, that we take care of everybody up, up here like they're our family. And we will know everything about you by the time you leave. And um, we will always make sure that you will always heal. And our healing rates up here, I mean, they're phenomenal. They're like well over 95%. And um, that's spectacular. It's it's just been a pleasure to be part of this team because they've they've made it their life, which is very important. It, it is, and and you can see it, you can feel it when you get on that floor. Um, they're really, they're really dedicated to to the patient, and that's a lovely thing to see. Um, your reputation, uh, certainly as the team leader up there, uh, is wonderful. And and listen, your healing rate speaks for itself. Um, so with that, I think my questions are done. Are there anything else that you know about hyperbaric or wound healing that you wanna that you wanna share with us today? No, oh, I think I think we've I just want everybody to be aware that this is out there for them. Yeah. And even if you're unsure, call us and we'll evaluate you and 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 we'll get we'll point you in the right direction always. But you know, if you're frustrated at home with, with an ulcer that hasn't been healing and you want a second opinion, come see us. You know, we will contact your doctors and we'll speak to them as well and we'll we'll work together and collaborate with other doctors. But, you know, the main thing here is that we got to get you healed. Absolutely. It's about quality of life for sure. Always. Thank you so much, doctor. You're wonderful. We're so pleased Thank that you. you joined us today. This is Dr. Patel's contact information. He can be reached through the Wound Healing Center, which is 914-964-4630. And by the way, you can find that all of that information and more on our website, which is riversidehealth.org. Uh, for those of you who are still a little gun shy about going out to see a doctor or who have questions but are unsure, uh, we're happy to do a virtual urgent care session that is actually held through the St. John's Medical Group. So call for an appointment with that, and that's 914-207-0006, and they can get you to the right place. And finally, anyone who has other questions, um, from our audience today uh, can certainly email us at info at riversidehealth.org. They can also email us at findadoc at riversidehealth.org. I'm happy to say both of those emails come to me. I don't ignore them. I actually make sure they get to where they need to go and we do get answers for our audience when they have questions. So feel free to reach out through that means. And thank you again, all, uh, our audience today for joining us. Have a great day.